The Aero A-45 was a twin-engine light utility aircraft developed in Czechoslovakia shortly after the Second World War. Designed by Miroslav Beitler, Gizzi Buzek, Andrzej Nimek, Pavel Rosendorf, and Frantisek Volk, the project began in 1946 as a private initiative of engineers working after hours, without management approval. Aero, nationalized in 1945, eventually authorized the prototype. The first flight took place on the 21st of July 1947, followed by the second prototype in March 1948. Production began in 1948 at Aero's Vysachani factory in Prague. In 1951, manufacturing was transferred to the Let Company in Kunowitz. The A45 featured an all-metal construction, a teardrop-shaped fuselage, retractable main landing gear, and excellent cockpit visibility through its glazed nose. Power came from two Walter Minor 43 engines of 105 horsepower each. Its baseline performance included a cruising speed of about 230 km per hour and a maximum of 265 km per hour. Cabin layout allowed four or five seats, making the aircraft useful as a business plane, air taxi, cargo transporter, or ambulance. The design could be adapted for wheels, skis, or floats, and it carried full radio and navigation equipment for day and night flights. The AE-45 family included three main variants. The original AE-45-200 built, 1948-1951, was followed by the E-45S Super Aero, 228 built, 1954-1959, which introduced updated avionics. The final and most capable model was the E-145, 162 built, 1959-1963, fitted with Walter M332 engines, delivering higher performance with speeds up to 280 km per hour and improved aerodynamics. In Czechoslovak service, the A45 was designated K75. The aircraft gained international recognition early. In 1949, pilot Jan Anderl won the Norton Griffiths Trophy in the United Kingdom, and the same year delivered an A45 on a long and demanding journey from France to Africa and back, covering 18,500 kilometers without serious mechanical problems. In August 1958, an Italian-registered A-45 completed a 3,000 kilometers South Atlantic crossing, becoming the first Czechoslovak-built plane to achieve this feat. Another transatlantic flight was completed in 1981 by an A-45S. The type was exported widely, including to China, East Germany, Hungary, where it was called Kochag, Egret, Italy, the Soviet Union, and Switzerland. About 590 examples of the A45-145 family were produced, although some sources claim nearly 700. Though production ended in 1963, several aircraft remain airworthy. In 2023 to 2024, a restored AE-145 built in 1960 flew from Australia back to the Czech Republic, covering 20,000 kilometers in two stages. The journey demonstrated the durability of the design more than 60 years after its introduction. Today, only a handful of AE-45 survive in flying condition in Europe, the United States, and Germany, but the aircraft remains celebrated for its elegance, versatility, and role in re-establishing the Czech aviation industry after the war.